I want to show you how you can add observability to your application with just one line of code. Um, who has worked with OpenTelemetry before? Maybe a quick show of hands. Oh yeah, not too many, but still quite a few. Um, OpenTelemetry is an open source framework which provides a standardized set of tools and APIs for collecting, processing, and exporting telemetry data. Why do we need that? There is the notion that the more information you have, the closer you are to the truth, and the more wisdom and power you gain from it. Mapped to open telemetry or to observability, this would mean that the more signals your application is emitting, the more aggregated telemetry data you have, and the more insights and actions you can take out of it. Let's look at three examples. First one would be an uninstrumented app, basically a black box because it doesn't emit anything. Second would be a manually instrumented app, where you, the developer, is deciding which um, signals you want to send to the observability backend. And third is kind of the sweet spot where we have an automatically instrumented app, meaning you just write the application code and some library or SDK is magically gathering the telemetry data behind the scenes and sending it to your backend. Let's look into this a bit more in detail um, with the example of fetch. An uninstrumented fetch, calls, fetch call would be a basic fetch call. It fetches data, and then life goes on. Manually instrumented fetch call, in the case of open telemetry, would look something like this. You have a tracer, which is an OTEL um, component, which starts a span. A span is just a word for a single operation um, that is timed and that measures things. So here we start the span, we call fetch, and whenever the fetch call ends, we end the span, and that's how we measure it. You see, there's quite a lot of code to maintain, um, so let's look at the sweet spot where we want to land. An automatically instrumented app, where we just import our SDK, we call init, and then we use fetch as we have always done before. Let's maybe look um, behind the scenes of this init call. How can we, um, behind the scenes, make fetch um, emit these telemetry signals? We do this by using a technique called monkey patching, which many of you are probably aware of. Um, it is a technique where we modify a module or a function, and we extend the functionality without um, updating the core functionality of it during runtime. In the case of fetch, this could look something like this. Since we're still in JavaScript world, we can basically do what we want. So we just take the global dis-fetch, store it away, and then overwrite the global fetch with uh, the tracer start span call that we've seen earlier. So every time in the user code we call fetch now, it will be traced automatically. A more modern way of doing this would be to use a JS proxy which you can think of basically as a middleman between the function or module you want to patch and the code that is calling it. How does OTEL come into play here? As I mentioned earlier, OpenTelemetry provides a standardized way of doing things. And by this, I mean tools and uh, APIs like this instrumentation base class that you can see on top, which we just extend for our custom instrumentation. There is some scaffolding around, um, so we want to specify which module we want to patch. Um, we can specify a version range, but then the important part is marked in red here, where we basically do what we've just seen before, monkey patching a specific functionality of a module that we want to trace. Coming back to our init call. This would be a very basic example on how uh, open telemetry setup could look like. It includes several um, building blocks. It's not too important what we're using here at the moment, but the important thing is the register instrumentations call that is marked in red. Here you see we provide an array of instrumentations, one for HTTP, one for Express, and our custom hotel instrumentation that we just wrote earlier. Um, the key point here is that HTTP and Express are community maintained, so they are external. So that's the power of open telemetry. Since it provides a standardized way of doing things, we can just mix and match um, community-based libraries and our own instrumentations.
as you all know, JavaScript is kind of a dynamic ecosystem. Um, and since we don't want to reinvent the wheel every time a library or a new framework is coming on the market, um, you could think of all of these white um, boxes here as its own SDK. And each SDK comes with its own default set of instrumentations. So again, open telemetry here can provide a better way or a way of improving the observability data within the ecosystem. Imagine you have a new um, framework that's, uh, or library that is coming out. Um, you can just pick the parts you need and you have a standardized way of instrumenting things out of the box. So what did we learn? Open telemetry provides a standardized way of doing things, which is why we can trust what we can trace. Building SDKs can be quite hard, so you have to make sure that you can only use what you can really maintain. So pick the right tools. And last but not least, observability is important, because you can only fix what you can actually see. Thank you.